Hey guys, so I'm here with, um, you know, um, New Vegas, we're gonna continue on, and, uh, why is the sound storm off? Huh. Weird. Let's go this way. Oh, don't tell me that's where... Mm, uh, what you call it? Death Claws. Oh, bark scorpions. Boom! No, I didn't need that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, I wonder how far we have to go. Especially this way, man. Uh, save and uh, continue on. You know, I, I'm quiet because I'm actually tired and I'm thinking of either fishing this episode or ending during in this episode or finishing uh, this quest. Whoa! Oh my god! They're kind of creeping me out now. There's that bigger one. That, look, that one looks bigger, man. Oh. No. Bring in my sword. Of all centaur. They're kinda of creeping me out, man. Creeping me out more than fall creeping. Do they have centaur blood? Ew. That's a, I'm pronouncing their name right. Oh my god. Seriously, you think I'm gonna be going down there? Safe position. Yeah, all this fucking radiation hold. Okay, we got that one done. Even if it was suicidal. Mm, Black Mountain, huh? Whoa! This is a dangerous place, human. Especially for your kind. 
I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. You must have heard a radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation <laughs> is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. You don't really sound like a the voice on the radio mutant. belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second generation mutants. Marcus welcomed everyone. That was his mistake. The community ended up being mostly second gen. Not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second gens thinking she was some kind of prophet and that she should be broadcasting her truth, not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. <laughs> There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. There are three blockades plus patrols. Sneaking past them would be... difficult. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound. Heavily guarded by her nightkin. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? And none taken, since you apologized. The Nightkin are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them coming. Most don't. They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. You do well to avoid the mountain at night. The opposite of Black Mountain. A stable community of mutants, mostly. Led by a mentally stable leader. <laughs> Humans are welcome there, so long as they behave themselves. Look northwest of Red Rock Canyon if you want to find it. Yes, I hear that sometimes. And then I never see the people who said it again. Okay, first, he seems to be a first gen. First gen seem to be more intelligent and have normal voices. That's almost an excuse for that. Okay. Uh, more. And I, I'm gonna say, I think. Um, the super immune to follow three or more, like second, third gen, or fourth, you know. Meaning they're dumber and they have, of uh, course, or it's, you know, bad. Oh, God. You know, crap. Go to there. So that's pretty interesting about, um, about that. Um, Black Mountain, we might explore eventually. Break in. Uh, too bad I don't listen to the radio. Okay, I'm just making sure it's this marker, not someone over. <laughs> Yeah, 
feeling there's gonna be ghouls here. I really won't withstand my assault rifle. Fiend corpse. Locked average, doesn't matter. Looking for um what, what what the fuck? Okay, second floor. But I'm exploring this place since I'm here, man. Ooh, more bottle those bottle caps. Pretty more money. What's that? Macrofusions. Unauthorized facial pattern. Please present credentials for first floor access. Invalid response. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted. Why is target his body? Oh god, seriously? Run! Oh my god, seriously? What do I have better? I have... Pulse grenades! Oops. Fired that fucking asshole. Uh, it's really ooh missiles for the and scrap for those um dude guys over at um key driving me nuts driving me nuts yeah is it driving you guys nuts too where's your hand <laughs> Super stim pack. Not Bobby, but no, it's medics. Some ammo. More ammunition. I already took that. Got my rifle suck in this game. Do I find a mod that might prove it? Very hard, holy shit.
we're gonna burp in the next episode. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna continue on the next.